Last of Us is truly the talk of the town when it comes to entertainment right now. And with a mini series or whatever they want to call it over on HBO is in the works right now. I thought it'd be fun to kind of dive into and give my fan casting for what I would want this Last of Us TV show to be all about. We got the director on board. We got the writers on board. We have the composer on score. And now we just need a cast all involved and of course some crew members as well. So within this list, guys, I'm going to be giving my fan casting my picks for what actors I would love to see in these roles. I mostly stuck to just one actor mainly for each one because I didn't want to get too convoluted and I wanted to see what your guys' picks would be down below in the comment section so make sure to share them all down below as well what your guys' picks for the fan casting for The Last of Us would be as well if you guys are new here hit that like and subscribe and if you guys want to be a geek like me and continue being a geek like me and having geeky conversations I want to have those all the time down below in the comment section so don't miss out hit that like and subscribe button it helps the algorithm helps me out and I want to make sure to provide you guys with the best content possible so without further ado let's get started <music> place to kind of start with this is easily with Joel because yeah he's the main character from the first game and he's the main catalyst for the second game of course I'm not gonna get into spoiler territory so you do be warned about the comment section I don't know what people are gonna comment down there and also do understand I'm not gonna get in like the spoilers of what happens with certain characters throughout here I am gonna touch on some characters from the first game I'm gonna touch on some characters from the second game um and then there will be some minor characters I kind of leave open because I do want some unknowns in there or in general I just don't think they're big enough to have like an actor or actress that I would want so so starting with Joel, of course, I have John Berthnall, who played the Punisher. He showed up in many different things. Of course, most notably, his big debut was on The Walking Dead as Shane. For me, personally, I have always loved him. I think he's had that grit, and he also carries that emotion to him as well that we saw a little bit in The Punisher, but I don't think he's been given the material, the best material yet, to be able to show that he is a truly an Oscar-caliber actor, and I think The Last of Us is truly that. I think he can play that aged old rugged guy who's just had a beaten old past but at the same time being able to add a little bit more into that I know a lot of people want the likes of Josh Brolin or even Hugh Jackman to be in here which I would be totally on board if Hugh Jackman got casted in here but I think he's already kind of done that same sort of stuff inside a film like such like Logan so, even though I do want John Berthnall, he is my main pick. This is the guy I would want to play the character of Joel. I think it looks a little bit different. It's a little bit of a different outside choice, but it's the one that I think would work the most. The other one I want to throw out is I think Joel Egerton can also do a pretty damn good job in here, especially after seeing the film It Comes at Night. While that is not more of a horror film, but more of a psychological drama... I think his performance in there shows that he could definitely play off Joel. Which, speaking of that, let's get into my next pick, which is for Ellie. And easily my number one pick for this is Caitlin Dever, who is from the likes of Booksmart. Probably her biggest debut that many people would know her from. I think she is incredible in that, and I think she would kill it. Not, not for one, she also looks like Ellie in some sh way, shape, or form. But she's an excellent actress. One that, again, I want to see that grit, I want to see that emotion, I want to see that coming-of-age skill that we get in the that first game but also when it dives into the second one I want to see it go into those darker elements and I want to see Caitlin Denver be able to go through those and of course we're going to maybe a different kind of look as someone who is a bit younger than her is Sadie Sink from Stranger Things I think she is a wonderful performer and I also think she has a lot of chemistry as well and I think she if we're going a little bit different on the outside ballpark type way I think she would kill it in the role as Ellie as well jumping in as well um from The Last of Us 2 we also have a character from Dina the person I picked, and please understand, if I completely mispronounce this, I really apologize. That is Grill Delne Vizwethen? I'm terrible. Bleep that out. Oh my god. But it's pretty much the girl from Blockers who I think was excellent in there. And anything I've ever seen her in after that has really brought a lot of chemistry. She always has this big charming aspect to her. And when I think of Dina, I think of charming. I think of this great aspect. And I think her like chemistry would be off the charts with either um, Caitlyn Dever or Sadie Sink. I would more likely go towards Caitlyn Dever. Sadie Sink was the more if they want to go even younger side. I don't think they're going to go that side. I think they might age up Ellie just a bit for the show. But definitely, I think she would kill the role as Dina. And really, Dina was one of my new favorite characters throughout The Last of Us Part 2. And I just want more of that emotion between her and Ellie, just a little bit more. Even jumping in, to speaking of Dina, we also got to talk about Jesse, who's also another main character from The Last of Us Part 2 as a supporting cast. For this one, I picked Ross Butler. I think 
think this guy hasn't gotten that great breakout performance role yet. He has that small one in Shazam, and he's pretty good in 13 Reasons Why, and of course, into all the boys I've loved. But I think he needs that next standout thing, and I think The Last of Us playing the role as Jesse could really solidify that as well. And especially if we're looking down the road, if they're going to get into part two story, it won't be for quite a while. So I think we have that time to age him up a bit and really kind of get to that next level for him. And I think he could really kill it. And I just want to see him get that next level performance. Going back to the first game, let's talk about Marlene. She's a main character in that game and also is one of the big cruxes of it. And I actually think could even be used a little bit more inside the show. My pick for this would be Sonequa Martin-Green, who was from The Walking Dead, most notably as Sasha. She's also in Star Trek Discovery. I think she's a fantastic performer. I think she's one who always gives 110% in every single one of the things, but she also has that grit to her, and I think Marlene has that grit and a little bit more behind her, and I think Sonequa could actually really give that, and again, I just want to see her in more stuff. Any of other characters from the first game that I think could even be delved into a little bit deeper is Tess, who has this great banter with, of course, Joel himself, and of course, they're both pretty hardened, and I picked in a little bit of an outside choice for this one. This one, I chose Marissa Tomei. I think she has that grit to her, and I think she has that toughness edge to her that I would actually really like to see. I think she's in that nice age range that could really fit and if we're not going to go with her I think Linda Cardellini could also kill it as well but I'm more championing Marissa Tomei give her this gritty type of badass role I want to see her in it and I think some of you guys would as well jumping into another character from the last of us part one would be Bill I think Bruce Campbell this is the most obvious choice for me I think Bruce Campbell is the one to play this role I think Bruce Campbell I want some groovy baby time I you know I just want that in here and I think Bill is such a small side character that Bruce Campbell could really fit in and make memorable just as well as the Bill character is. Another character, the another two characters from The Last of Us Part 1 that were very, very important was Henry and Sam. And for this one, I really dove into because I wanted to find two performers who I think could kill this role in such unimaginable ways. And for Henry, I picked Lakeith Stanfield. I think this guy has been killing it over the last couple of years, especially with the performances he's been giving. Such a visceral and really open-eyed performances. And I think this is something I really want to see from him in this role, especially with the stuff that Henry and Sam have to go through. And diving into Sam, I would do I would have Asteen Black and when they see you, Ava DuVernay's excellent miniseries over on Netflix. If you haven't watched that, you should definitely should. He is phenomenal. He's one of the best performances in there. And this guy, like, I picked him because I wanted a kid actor who could really bring the emotion for what happens to Sam. Because I actually think they should reverse what happened to them in the first game. And I think this could really bring it about in such an emotional tolling way. In the first game, the most despicable character was David, this gross, disgusting cannibal leader of this group that Ellie and Joel encounter. For me, this one was tough because part of me wanted to say, hey, get Nolan North in there. Let's get him in a live action role. Maybe even, I mean, hell, get Troy Baker too. Maybe why not have one of them play it? But I've decided that I think Tim Blake Nelson, who most notably was recently from the Watchmen miniseries on HBO, would destroy this role. I think he has, again, that element that you really want from The Last of Us. This despicable, this haunting element, and also secretive that you don't know much about. And I think Tim Blake Nelson would be able to perfect that in such a perfect way. Of course, I can't move on to the rest of the characters in part two without getting into the major supporting character that is a part of Joel's life, and that is Tommy. This one was tough because I had many different picks that I would love to play Tommy, but for me, I think this is one that a lot of people are actually casting as Joel, but I think what kills the roles Tommy and it's Nikolai from Game of Thrones, who most notably has played Jamie in there. I think this is another guy who is a great performer, but hasn't gotten that great material yet. Game of Thrones was easily the best stuff he's gotten, but he's also gotten Shot Caller and other things of that notable nature. But again, Tommy has a very important role in this first game, but I think it even goes more important in the second game. And I think Tommy's character could be developed even more. I have a feeling they're going to dive into Joel and Tommy's past more. And I think that is something that I think seeing the likes of maybe John Berthnall and Nikolai really having that great chemistry with one another is probably one of the things that interests me the most. And even if it's not them, I just think these two characters because really could interest me in such a dynamic way. And you need that chemistry. And I think both of them could really bring it. So then jumping back into The Last of Us Part 2, I'm really excited to talk about 
well. Not this next one in particular, but the person who's going to play Abby. We'll get to that soon because that one was actually really hard to choose, but I love my choice for that. First off, let's get into Owen. I, I picked one of the most important characters to Abby's life in here. I didn't do every one of her friends because that would have just been too many. But for me, Owen, I think Chase Stokes from Outer Banks is actually one of the most surprising choices further. I think Owen's a very annoying character, but I th also think Chase Stokes could really portray that in a nice light, and I think it actually works for that. Um, I'm sure there are other possible choices for this, but I think that actually works. And I think the kid had enough grit to him, and I think with a better script for Outer Banks, I think he could have really performed pretty well. Jumping out of there, though, Lev is a character that I didn't exactly know how to portray because, you know, as a transgender character, you want to give a transgender actor that role. And going through the ones that I know and have seen notably in Hollywood, there wasn't one that I think could fit that mold, and I'm actually wanting to put an unknown in there, because I think Lev is one of the most fascinating characters in The Last of Us Part Two, and also diving into the whole cult element, I think that is a character that I really want them to really pick in a very particular way, because of how important it is to Joel and Ellie's story overall. But, let's get to my big one, Abby. Yeah, who am I going to pick for Abby? Um, I went through multiple different people. Who could I think could bulk up to her size? I don't want a Ronda Rousey. I want someone around that same age range as, say, Caitlyn Denver. And looking through everyone, you know, I really settled down on this one in particular person. And this is probably the most exciting casting I have because I think if she bulks up a bit, and I think from most notably some of her previous work, she could really do this, and that is Chloe Grace Moretz. This is, I think, the performance I have been wanting to see her do since Hit Girl and Kick-Ass 1 and 2. I think she's badass. I think she's kicks ass. But I also have, think she has that emotional element to her. And she's a great actress that just hasn't gotten that material over the last couple of years. And I really think The Last of Us Part 2 is the film, or not the film, the TV show to really bring that out about her. So I am all on board for this train. I don't know if it's going to happen. Who knows, but I'm definitely excited to talk about it nonetheless in that, guys. And of course, like I said, there are mentioned many other characters I didn't mention here. A lot of Abby's friends, Sarah, um, Maria, Tommy's wife. They're, those are characters that I feel like any number of people could have played, possibly. I could have dove a little bit deeper into those, but these are the characters I really wanted to focus in on, guys. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this. You guys are seriously all the best. Please comment down below your guys' thoughts. What is your fan casting for The Last of Us? Let's discuss it all down below, guys. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this, and of course, until next time, Stay classy.